Candace Cameron Bure blames the toxic culture for the backlash over her recent interview. The former child star broke her silence on Instagram. This comes amid her comments about traditional marriage in the Wall Street Journal. The GAC family star got called out by Hillary Burton, Jojo Siwa, Jody Sweeyan, and countless others for her anti-gay remarks. She wants to uphold her title of the Queen of Christmas rather than the Queen of Hate. She posted a lengthy statement on Instagram saying that the media is to blame for inciting hate. Read on to learn more. Candace Cameron Bure has faced backlash for her comments in the Wall Street Journal. In the exclusive interview, she shared why she made the move from the Hallmark Channel to GAC Family, where she serves in an executive role. Candace claimed it wasn't because of the money. She felt that GAC is more focused on Christian values. She emphasized on the importance of traditional marriage, which many took as supporting heterosexual marriage. Candace always spoke out about her conservative Christian beliefs. She had a long acting career in Hollywood by carefully choosing her roles. The actress isn't interested in working in movies and television shows that have racy scenes and realistic situations. I think that great American family will keep traditional marriage at the core, Candace Cameron Bure reportedly told the Wall Street Journal. Great American family prides itself on celebrating faith, family, and country. Bill Abbott started the company after he left his previous role as chief executive of Crown Media Networks. Bill previously said in an interview that GAC Family would not feature LGBTQ couples. Many took Candace's comments as someone who was against the diversity and changes that Hallmark Channel has made in recent years. Candace Cameron Bure breaks silence on Instagram. On Wednesday, November 16, Candace Cameron Bure broke her silence on Instagram. She posted a carousel of slides that featured her lengthy statement. The Fuller House alum blamed the toxic climate for the backlash she's received in the past few days. Candace made it clear that she has great love and affection for all people and that the world needs Christmas more than everyone. It absolutely breaks my heart that anyone would ever think I intentionally would want to offend and hurt anyone. It saddens me that the media is often seeking to divide us, even around a subject as comforting and merry as Christmas movies. But, given the toxic climate in our culture right now, I shouldn't be surprised. You can read her full statement on her Instagram account here. She concluded her message by calling out the media for fanning the flames of conflict and hate. However, she was the one who shared her statements with the Wall Street Journal, which many reacted to on social media. Her interview went viral, which sparked a social media backlash. What are your thoughts on Candace Cameron Bure blaming the toxic culture for the backlash she received? Do you agree with her that the media incited hate? Or, do you think she sparked the hate on her own? Sound off below in the comments section.